Thanks for tuning in to Campus Connection, folks. I'm Eric Packer. And I'm Trey Fuller. If you want the news and an update on the NCAA tournament, look no further. Because we got you covered. The future of Rutherford Early College High School after 2010 is unknown. Like other budgets, questions regarding state and federal funding for schools, there are more questions than answers. The REACH calendar follows the isothermal community college schedule with classes ending May 31st, 2010. At the end of that school year, the seed that was given to Rutherford County and the fourth year grant funding for the state will end. The economy and state are in a bad deficit, so no one knows if there will be a graduating class of 2010. The Rutherford County Foundation awarded $11,875 in grant monies last week to nonprofit working to meet the needs of families and citizens who have been affected by the recession. All American Homes in Rutherfordton has announced they will lay off about 90 employees, but the company is not going to cease operations. The housing manufacturer employs 97 people at its facility off of U.S. Highway 221. The drawdown in employees may be only temporary. We're planning to mothball, says James Holden, corporate secretary and assistant counsel for All American Homes. The announcement comes as the next in a series of closings and layoffs that will hit the county that have hit the county in recent months. We're very sorry to hear this news, says Tom Johnson of the Rutherfordton County Economic Development Commission. Campus Connection went to the Student Center and gathered thoughts and opinions about President Obama's decision to lift stem cell restraints. Stem cell research would be a good thing for everyone that will help. I'm against it. Honestly, I don't think it should even be messed with. Um, if God intended it to, then okay, but if not, you know, I really don't think they should be messing with it. No, I don't believe in stem cell research. I don't believe in embryonic stem cell research just because I am a Christian and I don't think it's right to take embryo, baby embryos. Every individual has a right to their opinion and whether you think it's immoral or moral, that is up to you and you should vote when it comes time to make your opinion known. The Rutherford County Airport will be expanding, which will allow larger cargo planes to enter the airfield and may attract more businesses to the Rutherford County area. Jermaine Price went by to speak with Greg Turner about the expansion. My name is Greg Turner. I own Leading Edge Aviation at the Rutherford County Airport. Our expansion plans at the airport for the immediate future uh, and to use the grant money that we just received uh, will be for West Hangar Development, uh, putting corporate hangars out to the west part of the airport. Uh, and then looking in the future, uh, we do intend to extend the runway uh, another 1,000 feet to make it 6,000 feet. It's currently 5,000 feet. And uh, that expansion will be uh, to the north of the airport. In other words, Mr. Donald McClooney held the 29th Annual Mid- Cleveland Karate Championship in Shelby, North Carolina. Our own Trey Fuller covered the story. McClooney, could you tell us um, what it takes to prepare for this um, competition and what type of events are going on here? Today is my 29th annual Karate Championship here in Shelby. I've had it in different locations, but I brought it back to Shelby this year. And the competition that we're offering is from kids from age four throughout all throughout adults. And they're showcasing all of the um, experience that the, that the instructors are giving them and they come in here and back to each individual what their instructor giving them they're fighting they're doing forms they're doing katas weapon katas different things of that nature and with doing that they're showcasing their abilities how they can really perform a lot of kids are real laid back and they're shy about trying to produce in front of a crowd but in a karate studio that help them to stand up to the crowd and don't have to be so shame and bashful about doing anything so if they're not shame and bashful that makes a better individual down the road in life what inspired you to become a martial arts instructor, and um, how long have you been instructing? Uh, Bruce Lee, if everybody know him, <laughs> okay, it's been several years back, about to tell you my age. But anyway, uh, he really what got me going, and just love for the art got me to teaching, I'm going from there. And I guess I've been teaching for about 38 years now. 
For Isothermal Community College Broadcasting Department, thank you for tuning in to Campus Connection. I'm Trey Fuller, giving you the best of all the rest. Hospice of Rutherford County announced Tuesday the State Employees Credit Union members pledged $300,000 to assist with construction of the six-suite hospice house addition. In 2008, 167 patients served at the inpatient level and 79 at the residential level of care. The need for occupancy has consistently remained above 100% since the facility opened in September of 2004, resulting in the need for this addition. Our own very own Trey Fuller had the opportunity to interview RS Central student Sloan Whitesides, who is the honor student, outstanding athlete, and valid Victorian of senior class. She was selected as one of 70 students from high schools across the U.S. for more Head Kane Scholars at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. You also worked as an in intern for the United States Congress last summer. Tell us a little bit about that experience. It was a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hopefully I get to go back this summer in between my other things that I'm doing. So, I also understand that you um, represented Rutherford, Rutherford County at the uh, Junior Miss Pageant in Greensboro. What awards did you receive for that pageant? Well, I received fitness, interview, and scholastics. And fitness was a big one because I've had a lot of fitness in injuries lately. My shoulder was dislocated. Uh, Sloan, what are your plans after college? And if you could give our youth um, some advice, um, what advice would you give them? Um, my plans, I hope to be going to law school. Probably not on the East Coast. I want to go to Stanford Law School. For Isothermal Community College Broadcasting Department, thank you for tuning in to Campus Connection. I'm Trey Fuller, bringing you the best of all the rest. This week I'm in the studio, but we're still having Sports Corner. After one week off, we have lots of updates in college basketball as the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament have been played. On Saturday, Ty Lawson came back for the North Carolina Tar Heels to play LSU. Lawson led Carolina to 80 to a win 84-70 with 23 points and 6 assists. This win advances UNC to the Sweet 16. As for Carolina's rival Duke, they play Texas in the second round. Duke pulled off a tough win 74-69. Gerald Henderson led Duke with 23 points as they advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2006. In two weeks, I will have the NC tournament, NCAA tournament update as we will know who have made it to the Final Four in Detroit and we will know who has made it to the national championship game. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Packer with this edition of Sports Corner. For a look at what's going on around campus this weekend, here's SGA member Anna Levitsky. We are pleased to announce that the 2009 ICC Olympics will take place on April 2nd and is open to all students and faculty at Isothermal Community College. To see a list of events or to register to participate, please contact Ruth Kulno at the number below. There will be a variety of competitions and some great prizes for the winning teams. That's it for this week. Back to you guys. Looking to catch some live music this weekend? Jeremy Padgett has some great suggestions. If you are in the mood for some live music this weekend, then check out Legal Grounds in Rutherford. On Friday, March 27th, the Ramblin' Gypsies take the stage. Their four-part harmonies will touch your soul. Then on Saturday, enjoy the unique bluegrass style of Larry Keel and Natural Bridge. At Barley's in Spindale, the Gallon Kuiper Project will entertain at 7 p.m. Described as poetic imagery, the GKP are a mix of folk, blues, classical jazz, and world beat. On Saturday, Makia Groove will have everyone on their feet with their self-described world funk fusion style. And finally, at the Wagon Wheel Dance Club in Boston, the Broken Axle Band performs. Well, Trey, this is unfortunately the end of another great show. That's true, Eric, but we will be back again. That's true, too. From Isothermal, I'm Trey Fuller. I'm Eric Packer. This, this is, is Campus, Campus Connection. Connection. Keeping you connected with your local news and sports. <laughs>